everyone, welcome back to TheShayBerry.com. I'm your host, The Shea Berry, and today I am here with Miss Gloria Horton. Gloria, how are you? I am great, actually. Um, I'm working on a lot right now, like absolutely a lot. So. And that's exactly what we're here to talk to you about, and we're excited to tell everyone else about it. I've met Gloria through a mutual friend, and I was really excited and compelled to her story. Now, I'm sure she's very willing to share her story with you guys, so if you want to get started, why did you start your life as a motivational speaker? Well, growing up in Pittsburgh, it's not really easy. Being a young girl, you know, misguided, didn't have that positive father attention, mm -hmm. so... Everything that I went through, I felt like God put me through it to share my testimony with others. So that's pretty much how becoming a motivational speaker started. I would speak to other young girls about like how I used to be them and how I used to struggle with finding my identity and low self-esteem, but God got me through it, you mm -hmm. know? So I just share it with others. And I really didn't start calling myself a motivational speaker until my mother taught me to walk in my purpose and to call me what I want to be you know mm -hmm. so that's how it all started there's a lot of stuff on TV and a lot of stuff just in school and a lot of stuff that people see that's not positive how have you tried to live your life in the most positive impactful way for others to watch you and how has it been as a leader for others to watch you do you sometimes feel like it's hard when sometimes you want to a certain way or sometimes you feel like you want to fit in but you can't because you have to be a leader amongst others well I'm honest I'm myself you know so I'll tell you hey I'm I make mistakes you know mm -hmm. this may not be right but walk with me through this you know and if we're going through the same thing let's go through it together I don't I know what it's like to want to fit in, but I'm so fine and content with myself and mm -hmm. how I am that, like, other things really don't phase me. Like, really doesn't get to me. But I have my moments. Yes, I'm, I guess, ratchet. Mm -hmm. So they would say I have my ratchet moments with my friends, but I know when is the right time for that. You mm -hmm. know, I'm still a teenager, so I'm still learning. But things that I went through and I see other girls going through, I share my story to help them with it. And you shared your story by already hosting different kinds of events. What kind of events have you done so far and what are you doing in the future? Okay, so when I was like 12 and 13, I had my first Cancer Awareness Benefit concert. Me and my mother took a major loss from that concert, but it really wasn't a loss for me. It was more like a learning experience. Mm -hmm. And my second events will be like little chewing chats in the Charlotte area. I would gather young girls at Floyd's restaurant which they were a big sponsor, allowed me to do that and have to pay anything for that. So that was absolutely great. And we would just speak about like real life topics. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to do another event, mom, and it's going to be mother and daughter's event. So then that's when I had the Saving Our Sisters on May 9th. And that was a, a great event, yeah. which you got to be a part of. So that yes. was really, really great. So that's it. But what I'm working on now is a peace week. It's called Put the Word on the Street. Mm -hmm. And I will be spreading the gospel through the streets of Pittsburgh, me and other speakers in the Pittsburgh area. Mm -hmm. So this is really, really big for me, going back to my hometown and trying to make a difference and work on things, you know, speak to my young ladies about self-identity and self-esteem and teenage pregnancy. And then working with other people in the area who have dealt with gun violence and how they're trying to help mm -hmm. overcome that. So this is really, really, a really, really big event for me. So that's what's new. So you've been in Charlotte for a while, but you're speaking of going back to do an event in Pittsburgh. How important is Pittsburgh to you and how close is it to your heart? Well, that's my hometown, you know, and I've lost one of the most important person to me. It was my cousin and I lost my god brother and they're just like, they were like the boys, like I'm my mom's oldest child, but they were like my big brothers, you know, and losing them to gun violence was a lot for me. Mm -hmm. So it was like, Gloria, you have to do something. And, it, and there's still nights when I can't sleep because I'm constantly thinking about it. Like I was just with you. Still days when I have to think like, what are you doing to make them proud? Yeah. You know, they're vicariously living through me. So it's just like, wow. Gloria, like it's yeah. a lot for me because I, I miss them so much. Mm -hmm. And I just want to make them proud honestly they need it we don't really have too many leaders 
in Pittsburgh, honestly. And a lot of people believe that leaders are like rappers and whoever got the most money. And you know, that there's so much more to life. Like you don't have to sell drugs to get out the hood. You can go to school, get an education and get out the hood. You don't have to have a guy validate your beauty for you to feel beautiful. You know exactly. what I mean? And that's what I really want my youth to understand. My mission is to save my youth mm -hmm. and to be that leader. Cause I didn't have that, you know? So. This is my way of being there. Like, yes, you can be a teen and still make a difference. It doesn't matter how old you are, you know. However you exactly. plan to do it, do it. So, being home is always great, but it's like, it needs some work and it needs some help. And who's really willing to do it, you know. Now, I got to talk to you about a recent event that you went to, the NAACP. How was that experience? What kind of people did you meet? And how has that propelled you to move forward as a leader? Despite the obstacles that you faced before, like you said, an event necessarily didn't go how you want it, but just being around certain people and doing certain things and seeing certain things happen, it kind of inspires you to keep moving forward. So how did that NAACP event change you and motivate you to keep going? I met really great keynote speakers. Um... Jamira Burley is one of my inspirations that I met there. She is an activist against gun violence in the Philadelphia area. So she really plays a big part. Like, mm -hmm. And I was really determined to meet her and I could not wait to meet her. So hopefully we get to work together in the near future. I met Melanie Fiona. She got me a great connect in New York. So I plan to be going there to speak at a mentoring group called Petals and Bells. Um, President Obama's speech was like absolutely everything I really, really needed to hear to actually be in his presence, to see him, you know, for him to touch me and say, hey, sweetie, how are you? Mm -hmm. It's just like absolutely a lot for me. Him speaking on um, how we don't need to hold black males accountable sure. for the mistake. That and he's doing a lot with prison reform. Yes. So I, like, I know some people getting good. out soon. That, well, not personally myself, but, but, but I know there are serious. some people getting He's out working soon. working on making a difference. I just feel like we all make mistakes, you know. And like he said, he just made mistakes in a more forgiving neighborhood. You know, people who were more forgiving. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's how I feel like we should be on all people, you know. So the NAACP conference was absolutely great for me. Like, really, really, really great. I really had a lot of fun as far as the luncheons to the conventions and then just meeting a bunch of new people. You're so young, there's so much still ahead in your future, but as of right now you do have an impact and you do have a movement going on. And what do you want people to know about it? What do you want people to remember about it? Most I want importantly? people to remember me for my positive ways, you know, and that I'm, I make mistakes, you know, but I'm very honest with them, you know, and I don't want anyone to feel like they can't come and talk to me. I wanted to be that person where everyone feel like, you know, mm -hmm. we can talk. Like, she was there. Yeah. I remember I met Gloria and I asked her about how she deal with her self-esteem and how she found herself. And we had an open heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I want people to feel comfortable with me, you know. So I want them to remember me for that and that I was here to yeah. make a difference, you know. So that's... That's great. So right now, Gloria has an event that she's working on. She's really excited about. It's from August 10th through the 15th in Pittsburgh. What was the name of it? Put in the word on the street. That's the name of it. Put the word on the street. And what are some things that are going to be happening during that five-day event? We're going to be working with local artists to come on sing. We've got motivational speakers coming out to speak. Hopefully, we can get Leon for it. We really want Leon for it. Um, games, fun activities. You will catch me in a neighborhood near you. The Hill District, Northside, Homewood, Wilkinsburg. I will be everywhere. So if you're out, come out and join me because it's going to be a great setting the atmosphere for positivity in Pittsburgh. So for more information about Gloria and the event, you can stay tuned on my website, theshayberry.com, where I will be talking about it and giving you guys the news and flyers, all that will be coming out. Gloria, would you like to give people your Instagram, your Twitter, your email? So if girls need some advice, need anything from Gloria, need someone to talk to, she's always willing to talk. That's one thing I know about her. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at officialqueeng, queen spelled K-W-E-E-N. You can follow me on Twitter at starstunsues. Also, you can email me at GloriaHorton4 at gmail.com. Thank you.